Hello guys, this is Adam from the Adam Lab. I hope that you are doing good. So I will be talking about is the M1 Mac good for development, whether you are doing web development, Android development, or iOS development, or any type of development or software engineering or coding or programming for that matter. Answer and the short answer would both be under yes. Mac has always been good for development in general and any type of development you are doing whether that's mobile whether that's web or whether that's uh, for example making video games or whatever that may be always when it comes to development it was really good to own a Mac and with the M1 it's even gotten better now if you are making games when it comes to uh, not unity but epic engine unreal engine it's uh, still not the best you definitely need to wait for it to be optimized as it should then you should be good to go until that optimized the better way to go when it comes to Unreal Engine is Windows but aside from that and making the video games then every other thing when it comes to web development or normal development or even iOS development the M1 Mac is great the Mac that I own is the M1 MacBook Air that is fully spec'd out 16 gigabyte of RAM 1 terabyte of SSD which I am really sad I only got 1 terabyte I wish I went and opted for the 2 terabyte but at the time when I went to purchase it they did not have that in stock of course the m1 chip with eight cores uh cpu and then the eight cores gpu as well now you might be asking how you managed to get eight cores of gpu on the m1 mac when you upgrade to 512 gigabytes ssd or to 16 gigabyte of ram you will be getting that extra core in the macbook air so basically the macbook air will be performing as good as the macbook pro the m1 version so there is that and really i got it and it's right here according let me show you so right now it's connected to my external monitor and the mac is there and that is the mic and the reason that i got it is because of the color and the color is simply the rose gold i really love that color and that's why i got it but aside from the color it performs well it doesn't collect dust because it doesn't have a fan and if you need to and you make it a stationary or whatever that might be you can always get a fan pad where you would put the laptop on top of it and then cool the laptop if that's something you are concerned about yet for me that was a, well, that was never an issue and the mac just performs as it should you will simply be good to go without any issues and with my experience i have made three applications when it comes to ios using swift and xcode on the mac and i had no issues with that at all and the performance was really good and then when it comes to using unity on the m1 mac i had no issues and unity was working without any issues and if you need to to know more about that i have videos that goes in depth to talk about the performance for unity the performance for unreal engine the performance for blender the performance for any test that you might think of when it comes to the m1 max even twin motion and i have tested twin motion on the m1 mac and it was uh, good and without issues so when it comes to the fact that is the m1 max in general are good for development or not after using them for the past four months i will say yes they are good i got them since day one and i never did regret returning my fully specced out 16 inch macbook pro at the time and getting one of those i didn't regret it and i will never do because this machine is really nice and even with the new machines that are planned to be released i don't think i will be changing my machine anytime soon because it really working with me without any issues if there is one thing thing that I would like to change about my Mac right now is definitely get more storage so in the future if I wanted to change that probably it would be the same machine but then just get let's say double the storage that I have so I will get two terabytes instead of one but even though I don't think I will do that now maybe I will do that around the end of the year when all the new machines would be released maybe if they released a 14 inch book pro maybe that would be the new machine but still I don't think I will be changing at least within the next six months maybe by the end of the year I might do that yet I am not so sure because this machine is working as it should and as you can see right now if there is a sticker for the Prince of Saiyans Vegeta on my device or any device then that device is here to stay for a very long time